Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and we all love the M3S truck, don't we? It is the workhorse of any server, with its massive carrying capacity, and quite frankly, probably some of the best handling, especially when you're off-road, but wouldn't it be nice to have something, I don't know, a little bit more sophisticated, like this Ford truck here, that not only comes with a lovely toolkit that you can fill up on the side there, but also has this lovely cover and inside you can see all the bits that we can put inside as well. We've got barrels, we've got wooden chests, we've got wood, we've got metal sheeting. Obviously we've got a jerry can as well. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, and how about, you know, we have a flatbed version, like so. And you think, wait a minute, if we've got a flatbed version, couldn't we, put, couldn't we put something on the back of it? And maybe we could do it so that it could carry vehicles you can carry cars so we can go around the server collecting wrecks or collecting cars and transporting them somewhere else like some recovery service then wait a minute if you can do cars wouldn't it be great if we put maybe boats on the back so you could go down to the coast and if you're using something like red falcon's watercraft uh, mod you could take a boat out of the water and put it on the back of your truck and then take it inland to a river or a lake or a reservoir or something like that. And then wait a minute, if we could take boats, maybe we could take helicopters. So again, if you're running a helicopter mod like Red Falcon's um, Flight Systems Helis, you come across a helicopter that needs repairing or you don't fancy flying it, you can load it on the back of your flatbed, take it somewhere else and then repair it in peace. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Well, it is all now possible with the amazing um, mod by the amazing Hunter Z, the towing service mod. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you sort of how it works basically. Um, and then I'm gonna share my XML snippets with you that kind of give you the little code snippets you'll need if you want to spawn it into a server kind of naturally so that the trucks spawn around the server just like the M3S trucks do as well. If you kind of know what you're doing already, when you subscribe to the mod and you download it, it does come with some useful add-ons. So we've got a basic types uh, entries. Um, it doesn't include all of them though. And then we've got trader files and trader plus files there, which is useful for putting with Dr. Jones and trader plus. And then we've also got... Um, a couple of events, uh, CFG spawnable events, um, and events to fire them in, and then we've got some event spawns for Nyam, Lux, and Deer Isle. But the way that the way that I do it on my file is that I do it by um, we're going to use the M3S event and the M3S um, coordinates. Um, so we're just going to add the truck to that. But first off, before we dive into that, let's let me just show you kind of how it works and um, let's just make sure that the weather's nice so it doesn't get uh, doesn't start raining on us now so what will probably happen you'll be in a situation where let's see if we can um, let's unload this vehicle first there it is so literally you make sure that your truck hasn't got anything in the inventory so it can't be carrying anything and then you drop just drive near to a vehicle it can be at the back it can be at the side and you'll get this prompt F load to truck hold and all you do is you just look at it press F to load and it transports the vehicle onto the back of the truck and then we can just get in fire up the truck And then drive around. Now be careful, it does have a lot of power this truck, so you can kind of get it to um, spin out if you're not very careful. And then you could take the car somewhere else where you wanted to, or your helicopter, or your boat, um, and then repair it or do whatever you want with it um, at your own leisure. Now remember, these are early days for this mod, so be careful. There could well be um, errors, and obviously, if there are, just go over and visit the Steam page for the mod. Um, and um, go to Hunter's Discord and just just tell him about it because um, there could be things that um, need working on. Um, it will be a work in progress, but it already is pretty cool indeed. Okay, so now let's have a look at installing it. So you know all the basics by now. So go to the um, Steam Workshop, 
you're going to subscribe, you're going to download it, and you're going to add it to your server um, in the normal way. And then what I've done here in this readme text on my GitHub, and what you'll do is, if you look in the description below this video, you'll see a link to um, my GitHub and also my Mega as well. I kind of use my Mega um, files as a uh, as a backup in case GitHub goes down again. And what I've included here. Uh, are the types.xml entry, but I've included the types not only for the vehicles, but all of the uh, accessories as well. So the uh, driver's doors, the hoods, and all the different various colors, and the they call it the tent, which is the cover on the back that, that kind of covers it over as well. And there's also the trunk. Now, the trunk refers to the box on the side that has the tools in that you can put specific tools in when you're ready to do that. Now, at the moment, and it may be me. There would seem to be a problem with spawning in the different uh, accessories that you would normally have lying around. You know, like you find an M3S bonnet somewhere, don't you? They don't seem to be spawning in. Now, it might be an error that I've made, and if I have made an error, I do apologise. And if you spot error, please tell me in the, the uh, comments uh, below the description of the video. Um, and so what I've also included, apart from all the types that you want to add into the types that XML, um, I've also included two different types of CFG spawnable types. One where the trucks have got bits missing and one where the trucks have got everything on. I'll show you that in a sec. Now, this is the events.xml uh, entry that you'll want to um, edit into your events.xml. So you'll want to find the vehicle truck 01 event. This is the one that spawned in the M3S truck. And basically all we're doing is we're adding the Ford truck to this event um, and then we're just increasing the min, max, and the, and the nominal. So on your server, you will have the normal M3S truck spawning in in their different colors, but you'll also have the Ford spawning in um, where they would go. So this means that you can easily add this event to a Livonia server or a China server or any server that spawns in M3Ss, and you'll get M3Ss and you'll get the Ford flatbed as well. Now, this is where we get to the CFG spawnable type. So this is kind of the important bit. Now, if, and you might have to do a little bit of testing, the bits spawn in okay on your server, so like the Ford flatbed doors driver, you know, all the accessories are spawning in okay, then you can use the top bit, the top section. Because in this one, we've all got, you know, we've got the chances are, you know, about 40% for a lot of the stuff. If, however, they're not, or you want your trucks to spawn in basically almost ready to go, then use the second section in the CFG spawnable types. And what I've done here is the attachment chance is one for all the wheels, the radiator, the spark plug, uh, the battery, uh, the headlights. There is a small chance that it will have the tent on the back, so it'll have the cover, and a small chance it'll have a teddy bear in the in the um, cockpit as well. Um, now, players will still have to fill the battery with water, and still will have to fill the fuel tank with fuel. But, you know, I mean, that that's the price you have to pay. So if you use that, and obviously save as you're going along, and then re-upload, and then restart your server, what you'll find is, if we um, get out of here, there we go. And then we go to, let's find an example truck oh, actually there's one there isn't there we were right next one so let's let's teleport to where this one is you'll see oh it's teleported inside it so oh actually not this one that's a bad example because i was mucking around with that one um, let's go to ford flatbed get item stats here we go there's one there let's have a look at this one you'll see they spawn in like this so all the wheels are on the spare wheels are on the back um it's got the can we have a look at it it's got the headlight bulbs in it's got the radiator on um it's got the spare wheel in it as well um and basically the player needs to go along and fill it up with uh, fuel fill it up fill the radio up with water um they could choose to find the tools to put in the other side in the trunk here right there there's nothing in there at the moment and then obviously then they could use it as a recovery truck um, and uh, yeah be, be fantastic so that's nice and easy um, until we get those things spawning in so there we go
hopefully you found this video useful hopefully you will uh, enjoy this mod the, I, I mean the things i've thought about like transferring boats and helicopters there's probably lots of other things that, that we could do as well and i'm sure hunter will change the mod so that we can pick up other things i mean i was kind of thinking about mobile homes you know you can have a modular base containers you know i know dump girl was working on a container mod but if you could pick up a container and move it somewhere and then use it as a base or use it for storage i don't know i mean the the um the sky's the limit isn't it with when with with things like this and it shows you someone comes up with an idea and then you think oh i would have never thought of that but however couldn't we use this to transport you know something else um and it's very very cool indeed anyway though that's enough of my rambling um, if you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very, very much, Tanta, for making such an amazing mod. And of course, I'll see you again soon.